Now this is one of my mother's favourite desserts from the 50s, I'm showing my age. <laughs> but we only ever had it when she could buy canned pineapple because, well actually fresh pineapple I suppose we could have used, but the, that even was only seen on rare occasions and canned pineapple when it came from Australia was very rare. This is after the war of course and you know things were were hard to find. But anyway, when we, she got canned pineapple, she used to make this lovely banana bread. We needed to get bananas too, but anyway, that's beside the point. Actually, I am gonna digress, but she couldn't even get proper, co or half decent coffee. She had to use coffee and chicory, I think it was, and then suddenly Nestle, which in those days was Nestle, came out with some half decent coffee. Not quite to Melbourne or Australian standards, but half decent. Anyway. I am getting excited. Now this is going to take a while so you'll get bored with this, but I've got three egg whites in here in a very clean bowl. Make sure it's clean. And I've got 170 grams of caster sugar, which I'm going to add bit by bit. So I'm making an Italian meringue. So you only add the sugar little by little. And you can use a bench mixer if you like, but it makes it easier just to use this little whiz-bang one. My mother, of course, would have done this by hand. When I think about it, she made the most beautiful pavlovas and she used to whip the pavlova base by hand. They were strong, those women in those days. Me, I'd give up halfway through. Anyway, just keep on adding. I want it fairly stiff. It doesn't have to be stiff like a meringue, but it, you know, it needs to, to keep its shape I think is the word isn't it? Isn't that what you use? And I'll just move and I've got a couple of different bowls here I'm not quite sure which one I'll use but what I've got here is some banana cake. Now I've just bought the banana cake you don't need to make it you can make it if you like and I'm going to put a layer of banana cake in my bowl. You can just press it in because it doesn't matter you're not trying to make a something that you're pulling out you're just making something that is reasonably neat and tidy. And then what we do is we grab our canned pineapple and we put some pineapple on top of that. Don't worry about a little bit of the juices because you want to moisten the, the bread a little. So a decent amount of the pineapple keeping in mind that we've waited six months for the pineapple to arrive from Australia so <laughs> that's the story. And then a little bit of the juice on top and now mum wouldn't have done this I don't think she would have even heard of Grommania but a little bit of Grommania too for no reason at all except it will taste nice so on top of that we put our Italian meringue now she would have put it into the oven now fairly hot oven 220 degrees in common terms or today's terms 450 or something like that and I'm just going to be cheeky and use a blowtorch. Does that make me lazy? Yes. And the other thing which I'm not doing at this moment you can also put a layer of ice cream on it if you like before you put the meringue. So we've got that which is looking good and if I was going to do ice cream what I would do is some of this lovely lime and lime and coconut. That'd be nice but I'm not doing that, but you could do that. Now to go with this, we need something a bit special, don't we? And I always remember Harry's Bar in Venice and their famous cocktail was a Bellini, which was made with white peaches with a little bit of raspberry juice and to give some color, which I haven't done, I must admit. And they served it with Prosecco. So you could serve Prosecco by itself, if you liked. A good Australian Prosecco, don't worry about imports or I've got some peach puree here, which is not a great color, is it? Dirty color. Needs that, needs that raspberry flavoring in it. And to that, I will then add some Grommania for no reason at all, except I've got some Grommania there. I don't think Giuseppe Cipriani, who created the Bellini, put Grommania in it, but what the heck, I'm allowed to. And then we put that into a nice champagne glass. And you're looking for about a third of that and while I'm talking about special things now I noticed this in the in the bottle shop just the other day Cipriani Bellini now it seems it's done by the grandchildren and I haven't tried this so let's have a look and see what this is like this may be the answer we may not need well it's a nicer color isn't it 
Certainly a better colour than this one, but this may be better because it's got fresh peaches in it. Now let's just have a taste of this. I'm intrigued by this. Oh, that's nice. It's a bit sweet for me, I must admit. I think I might prefer this one. Look, I'm doing a tasting, a taste test. What we need with this one is we need one of those lovely brass cocktail mixes so that we get the peach in it. And the idea with the fresh peach, and I've just poached the peaches and then pureed them, and preferably white peaches. So there we go, my mum's favourite dessert, with a few variations, <laughs> and something really nice to drink with it. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do. And don't forget, it's free. Okay, cheers.